In 1884, the powers of Europe met in Berlin to discuss the colonization of Africa. While no official borders were directly drawn because of the conference, it formalized a scramble for Africa and laid out the acceptable ground rules for colonization. By 1913, the borders of Africa looked like this, and many powers had gripes with their possessions. So I decided to get 14 people from my Discord server, linked in the description, assigned as diplomats for every nation present at the conference. I've already covered West Africa and Ethiopia in a previous video, so check out part 1 if you haven't already seen it. Remember to get this video to 7,000 likes for the next part. The rules were simple. Each state was assigned a voting power to dictate how much say they had. Anyone with a colony already in Africa could not lose their colony unless they agreed to it. So, you couldn't be voted out of any previously colonized lands. If a proposal was passed, it was final, and could not be discussed again. If you're interested in doing something similar in the future, I'm hosting the same thing for the Congress of Vienna and having you redraw Europe after the Napoleonic Wars. Sign up below and make sure to join my Discord. I'm trying to get 1-2 to two videos out every week going forward, and hit 50,000 subs by the end of July. So support me, you over 28,000 colonists, and the 90% who haven't subscribed yet. Let's scramble for Africa. Up first is Austria, who staked a claim on Djibouti. Austria has had discussions with Germany of a possible joint colony in Djibouti with an Austrian trade company owning about 50% and the Germans owning about 50% being ruled mainly by the Germans, the military and the government being German, but the resources, uh, resource rights being split in Djibouti. I would be willing to actually, you said you wanted a joint imperial colony to do this with Germany. Yeah. I'd do that joint colony with you in Djibouti, actually. I'd do that with oh, you. 50 50 stake with the yeah, Austrian I, it's trade. Very important, it's very important to me. I need like full military rights in this area, naval rights, oh, yeah, support, naval base, but I, I, I'll, I'll do yeah. the 50 50 colony with you there instead. Oh, bring, it on Austria, bring it on Austria money. Let's be put uh, some money elsewhere. You want to bring in settlers to this area, make it you know more firmly under our control. Absolutely. Once these terms were hammered out, everyone agreed to give the Central Sahara and parts of Equatorial Africa to France before Sudan was brought up. I have a, uh, I want to claim the Sultanate of Dafur. Um, no. Okay. I'd like to maintain control, or not maintain, but I'd like to assert control over the Sultanate of Dafur, as well as the entirety of Sudan. You plan on marching straight across the desert, through sweltering heat, there's no rivers, nothing to get to the Sultanate of Dafur. Plan is, you know... Do, doing the long tracks, trying to maintain roads, all that stuff, stretch supply lines. It's very far from the yes. Nile, in the middle of the Sahara yes. Desert. Why? But also, I'd, I'd like to in integrate it into part of the Cape to Cairo colony, and I don't see French incursions into that era, area being I'm not, particularly I, necessary. I, that, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not looking to claim along the Nile. That's where all the industrial, that's where all the rich regions that could could be. This is so what's your, very, what's... this is very out in the middle of nowhere. Very out in the middle of nowhere. I, I obviously I plan on pushing claims of French Equatorial Africa rivers from there start or end there in the Sultanate of the Far. I would be able to assert control over the area easier than you could. I'm not looking to infringe upon your Cape to Cairo Sudan stuff. I think this is a perfectly reasonable claim. This is this is uh, it's mainly desert with a small valley there that I'm looking to take over. I don't understand why you see this as an infringement upon your territory. That seems quite a stretch there. I'm in support of complete British occupation of the Sultanate of Darfur and the entirety of Sudan. I have to say France. That's quite an enticing deal for me to say no to. So I think I'm going to have to... Just, well, why, why, is it, why is it an enticing deal? I am trying... I think it's very reasonable that I get the Sultanate of the Far and since he's not supporting it, I get the, you know, some of that desert territory too. This does not infringe upon British Sudan. This does not take away from the economic viability of British Sudan. This does not infringe upon a railway or any colonies in that area. That doesn't make any sense. They plan on marching through the Sahara Desert where there is no railway. There, 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 there is no major, you know, like paved roads or anything. It is going to be hell. He is not going to be able to properly assert himself over this land. It's going to be so economically unvaluable. He will not develop the land. It will be an economic backwater in Sudan. If he gives but at least me, you won't have it. At least I don't have it. I have it. to say, Which I have to say, it? however, I mean, I don't see infrastructure development as being an issue. That's something I can't overcome. I think the I mean, pre-established I mean, I mean, garrisons you, within the Sudan. You're going to build a road stretching straight across the desert. You're going to maintain that high quality. It's going to be a money sink for you. 
The desert is it may harsh. Not even... It consumes <laughs> everything in there. It is a harsh place to live, okay? It is better if I have control over it. I, I, I would like to input that Sweden and Norway would also support Great Britain conquering uh, the entirety of it, including the Sultan of Darfur. What France seems to forget to mention is that they also have to develop infrastructure along the way, uh, the riverways and waterways. That's easier. That's easier uh, than the desert. That's, Hold that's on. easier than the desert. I think what Sweden and Norway is mentioning re really doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to have to develop infrastructure, but I'm not going stretching across the arid wasteland that is the Sahara Desert. I'm able to uh, expand from, you know, from, from the Serengeti, which has a lot more tribes. There are rivers there. It's fertile land. Infrastructure development is easier from there. And it, it would get it would be an economic backwater if it was just off four. Britain's not going to be able to easily assert control over that. It's going to be like a random convoy every now and then is going to go out there to see how the locals are doing. They're not going to be building it up. They're not going to be developing the region. They're not going to be enlightening the locals as much because it's out in the middle of nowhere. Every single power voted against France, causing him to rage at the disrespect he was receiving. What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? <laughs> This is yeah, the patch I'm of desert march, in the middle I'm gonna, of nowhere. I'm gonna, Why I'm are you getting march, so upset? I'm gonna mock. I'm gonna. I'm, I mean, no, I'm getting insulted. Yet. Okay, England, England. Is there any chance I could buy it off you? Any chance you're willing to sell the region? Piece of desert, middle of nowhere. For maybe, maybe, if, maybe if the votes were maybe if the votes were closer, I'd think about it. But okay, that, with the majority that, like that, this, I don't see why I negotiate. Okay. Apparently everybody thinks that, that that like you know French claims in the region are the most uh, unreasonable um, things in the world. Thank 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 you to Council of Europe. After France's tirade. The powers of Europe shrugged him off and focused on Cameroon. Germany has missions there uh, for several years now. We have the entire area claimed officially. We, we we are willing to concede Equatorial Guinea to Spain as they do have a um, claim and a historical presence in that area. We're willing to concede on that front. I think that we have the best claim as well as Equatorial Guinea. We, had, we previously had a deal with France to, uh, over West Africa for Gabon. So we're willing to cooperate with both powers. Again, we're willing to, to grant the south of Gabon uh, and, and even to uh, allow the river line to be the border in Cameroon, but we're not willing to concede anything more than that. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with this claim. I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm sorry, hello? Spain, Spain. So, so you're gonna back him. You're gonna back him here. You're gonna back Germany here, right? But you're not gonna back me in Sudan. You did not back me on my vote in Sudan. You're backstabbing me when I when when, when we had a deal earlier. You know, we're supposed to be allies here, and now you're supporting Germany, right? Everybody is backstabbing France. Everybody's supporting Germany here. What's going on? I have a better. I you you have the best claim for this region, right? You have a better better claim to camera. I had a better claim to Germany in this region. What is going on? I, 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 I'm, I'm not going to give anything to Spain. I'm not going to give anything to Spain over this. No, because because I got you. You cut me out. You cut me out in Sudan. So I, I, I have no reason to support you here. I'm not. I'm not going to concede anything to you. Fine, fine. Then I won't concede anything to Germany. Right? Is that what you want? Just because you're being outmaneuvered does not really give you a, a right to be angry and, and screaming about everything. That's that's entirely unreasonable. We agreed that the river line is a reasonable border. We push for that. Everyone's happy. I don't know why Spain would need all of Gabon anyway. Gabon, Gabon let alone Cameroon. Okay. Listen, listen. I'm fine. I'm fine working with Spain. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with the northern half of Cameroon going to Spain entirely. I just want to point out to Germany here that I'm not getting angry getting out maneuvered. I'm, I'm angry at the fact that I was had allies that I was supporting here, and that they didn't rise to the attention. Spain, you're a good guy here, obviously. You got claims in the area. I just don't understand why people were coming out against me for, for, for Sudan when it was perfectly reasonable. I do not understand why my European allies did not rise to support my claims in those regions. I'm not trying to be indignant here, okay? I feel like I was betrayed, but I suppose that issue has now passed. So, uh, so I think Spain should all get northern Cameroon as well. I, I like the idea, but like, for the balance of power, uh, I would like Germany to keep Northern Cameroon, but I, I'll take your deal with the southern part. Well, now listen here. Spain, I told you from the beginning that I would give you Morocco, and I was even willing to give you parts of Algeria. Just because you went and took a bad deal doesn't mean I get to be punished for it. I'm not willing to give up any of Cameroon. 
I get all of it, or I'm not even willing to entertain the thought. All of Cameroon? Then we're gonna have to all go. To, then we're gonna and have to go. off. Right. Just, just for that kind of ratting, ideals off. Ratting? You backed yourself into a corner there. Wait, actually, I changed my mind. Germany, I, I got mad at you, but I'm willing to change to your side, back to your side. But I need a little bit more French land. Absolutely. I'm sorry. What? Spain. Spade, what, what, you need to stop weaseling out of your deals. What are you doing? We got a deal. Did you got a deal with them? Okay, okay. All right. If, 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 if England and the United Kingdom will back my deal, I'll back them on Cape to Cairo. Okay. If they'll back my deal, because this is you. You have a deal with me, then you don't have a deal with me, and you're with him, and you want to take more of my land. That's completely unreasonable. I I appeal to England, to England to support me on this, and I'll back them. Think of the balance of power and, 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 and honor. Think of honor. And France, you say you'll support a Cape to Cairo. Um, I'm assuming the only re remaining French claims are Madagascar and that remaining part of equatorial uh, Africa. I mean, that is enticing. However, I don't... I'm not sure I want to give practically half the continent to you. No, um, yeah, I'll, instead I'll back a German Cameroon. France, you're gonna need to shut up, bro. Or I'll put a bourbon back on your like throne, all right? The absolute minimum I am willing to take is the 1910 Cameroon border. Anything less than that is unacceptable to me. Wait, I have the votes here. I have England here. Why do I care what you guys think? I can win this vote anyways. We go right to the vote. I don't care. Full full 1913 Cameroon borders. I don't care. You know what? We'll take this to vote. The European powers will recognize that you overstep here and they will ensure that the balance of power and the land is held under my control still. We'll take this. We got this. Take it to vote. Germany won the vote with 52% of the total, but Spain refused to cede their territory to Germany, making the only entrance to Cameroon through the Campo River. France once again took this vote as a personal slight. Are you kidding me? I This is outrageous. I cannot believe that the European powers have refused to recognize this travesty for what this is. I, I cannot believe this has happened. I please, I beg the European powers to think of honor and of balance in Europe, okay? Please, for the love of God, look at this for what it is. With his complaints finished, everyone was ready to move on and discuss Tanzania which was highly coveted by Italy wishing to expand Ethiopia, Britain for the Cape to Cairo Railway, and Germany to form Middle Africa. Get this video to 7,000 likes to see the next part of the conference. Comment and let me know who you think is winning and losing the colonial disputes so far. If you liked what you saw, like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get my maps from the video, check out my Patreon or become a channel member. Goodbye.